Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days. My name's Ava Solberger, and we're here on Lake Champlain. That's right, I'm standing on it because it's frozen over. We're at the Sandbar State Park in Milton, Vermont for Kite Storm 2009. People are riding snowboards and skis, and they are holding on to kites, and the kites are pulling them all over this frozen lake. Oh, I don't see that happen very often. 114 miles in today. We both rode close to 150 miles. A free festival promoting and introducing the sport of snow kiting. We're from Maine and we make this 220 mile trip every year. We run into some of the same people every year. We have people from all over. We have Boston, New York, Delaware, Washington, and Philadelphia area well represented. I'm a snowboarder and she's a skier. You can really pick your level of excitement. We came to try something new and have an adventure together. We have a great location here. This place, Sandbar, is one of the best, probably the best in the Northeast for expansive space and clean breeze. This wide open area, it's just excellent. So snow kiting is using a power kite to propel yourself over any snow covered surface. It can be land, it can be ice. You can use snowboards, tele skis, alpine skis. It has to have a metal edge. Use the power and go back and forth and upwind and downwind and have lots of smiles on our face. <laughs> you don't do it with your arms because your arms would really get tired out. You got this harness, so the bar is just for steering. Uh, if you want to go left, the kite go left, you pull this way. You want the kite go right, pull that way. Consistent winds all day. Um, you could learn the sport in four days. I think I've heard that it's the fastest growing water sport. Being out here uh, with the blue sky and the white snow and the sunshine, uh, it gives you a good excuse to be out here. I love to do it because I love to sail and I love to ski. And this really is bringing together my favorite sports. I just love the freedom of being able to put my kite in a backpack, my board on my back, and I could walk two miles down a skinny trail to a beach all by myself. Yeah, just to be in the water and to be free and get out there and get in touch, really. You know, it doesn't take very long. There's something about, you know, being out there and flying that kite uh, that's real addictive. And we're addicted to the pull we get off our body yeah. and the feeling it, it has when it pulls our body. Like in the water and I'm just kind of leaning back with one hand on the bar and one hand in the water. It's just like you're chilling out, you know? It's so powerful, it's so aggressive, but it is so graceful mm -hmm. all at the same time. The speed, the jumping, and uh, you, 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 you'll you love these cold winter days. I mean, it's too bad we couldn't have 12 months of it. Surfing gravity and this is surfing wind instead. Once you're airborne, you're able to actually get 30 feet of air and, and fly for eight to ten seconds. It's the flying of it, it's an art. You get a lot of free wind, you don't have to buy a lift ticket. A max speed or average speed? 59.2. 50.3 miles an hour. Yeah, 59 and a half. Uh, some of the guys I do this with, uh, they're up around uh, 67, 68, 69. Uh, wow. A guy in Minnesota did 70 something last year. And we tack like a sailboat and then when we're in our tack, we start to let the kite eat more wind and we do like an arch downwind and really set that edge and hold it. When, when you start getting the high 50s and going in 60s, you, you know that you're moving. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of power, definitely. If you're out on a kite and the wind changes on you, it comes up, it, it can get scary. Uh, it was a little scary because you have the kite above you and, and the ice below you and the ice is a little rough, but didn't land on my face, so that was good. Our license plate says kites on it. Really? Yeah, we're, we really love the sport. We're all kiters. Whether you have skis, ice skates, a buggy, or a snowboard, we're all just kiters. The camaraderie of the, of the sport, we're all like a family, you know, and, and um, it's sort of like a solo sport, but at the same time, we're all here together and we're here to take care of each other. Springs. We'll get second out here again real soon. Uh, you get out there, the wind comes up, um, 
uh, beyond the, the power ability of your kite and you're not able to, to tack up wind because the wind's too powerful, then you have to kill the kite, fold it up, and walk back in, and that's a walk of shame. <laughs> so for a kiter, that's like the ultimate. It's embarrassment, <laughs> yeah.